Hey guys, welcome back to another video where I'm going to be talking about one of the layer ones that I'm most excited about that reminds me of Solana back in early 2021 when it was below $20. Last cycle, we saw that layer ones were some of the best trades that you could have taken. I mean, even back in 2017, but particularly in the 2020, 2021 cycle, layer ones were some of the best trades. You know, you look at things like Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, AVAX, Luna before it went to zero, FTM, you know, Phantom. They were some of the best trades that you could have taken and they were relatively safer bets than some of the protocols that were built on top of them that did similar kind of returns. And the reason is because you're betting on the infrastructure, you're betting on the thing that everything is being built on top of. It's a bit like Ethereum or Solana, if you think of them like an app store that apps are built on top of, you're kind of buying that infrastructure. So the right L1s are some of my favorite trades for these crypto cycles. Last cycle they were, and this cycle I've got a lot of exposure to the layer ones that I think are going to do well and going to win. And the one I'm going to be talking about today, I'm particularly excited about. So the coin that we're talking about in this video is, of course, Say. Now, Say is going to be the fastest blockchain. They recently just released their mainnet. You can see they've got 380 milliseconds time to finality and 12,500 transactions per second, which is absolutely massive when you compare it to something like Ethereum or even something as slow as Bitcoin. 12,500 transactions per second is pretty big. It also fits a narrative that I think is going to do pretty well, the parallel EVM narrative. There's not many coins that kind of fit this narrative. Say is one of the only ones, I think Neon as well. And then we've got Monad launching maybe at some point later this year. But Say kind of slots into that parallel EVM narrative, which I think is going to do really, really well from. Say also has pretty big backers. And this is why it kind of reminds me of Solana. I mean, th there's a few reasons, but one of the reasons is that one of the biggest VCs backing, say, is Multicoin Capital, which are very well known for their successful investments. You know, they were pretty early uh, investors in Solana. If you look at the backers of Solana, you can see Multicoin Capital it was a, a pretty famous trade back in 2020 and 2021. The fact that Multicoin Capital were backing Solana and they're also backing, say, along with some other big backers, OKX Ventures, Jump Crypto, pretty big one as well. So they've got the backers there to, you know, have the success that I think something like Say can have and that something like Solana has gone on to have. And then you can see in the seed round as well, Coinbase Ventures invested and Delphi Digital. So again, some other tier one VCs, especially Coinbase Ventures, pretty big VC. You know, these are the kind of people that you want backing you. The amount they raised isn't anything crazy. I mean, you know, 30 million, 5 million, 10 million. It sounds like a lot, but when you look at Solana, they raised 314 million. There is quite a big difference there. Then their Series A, 20 million, pre-sale 5.7, private sale 12.6. So Solana did raise a lot more money at the early stages, but it is encouraging to see such big backers, should I say, Multicoin, Coinbase Ventures, Delphi Digital, Circle, all kind of big investors, big VCs investing in Say. That is a pretty encouraging. It's something that you know you want to see when you're investing in a layer one like Say. Now, in terms of the market cap that Say is, you can see it's currently at a $2.3 billion market cap. It's got a fully diluted valuation of $9.3 billion. So you can see around 2.5 billion tokens are circulating. The total supply is 10 billion. Now, what I want to bring to your attention is the vesting schedule. So now this is the schedule at which the tokens are going to be released, right? And you can see all the tokens aren't going to be released until 2030. So for the duration of, of this trade, we don't really need to worry about the huge FDV because most of the tokens aren't going to come out until 2030. But the timeline of this trade and you know when I think this cycle could top is somewhere around the end of 2025. So if we look at how many tokens are going to be circulating by the end of 2025, to keep the maths really, really simple, let's just say it's 50%, right? So if you look at the 1st of January, there'll be about 4.9 billion tokens circulating. So to keep the maths really simple, let's say 50% of the supply by the end of 2025 will be circulating. If we take the FDV, and again, I'm going to keep the maths really simple. If we take the FDV and we divide it by two, because that's the valuation with all tokens circulating. But if we work on the assumption that only 50% are circulating, then that would give us a market cap of 4.6 billion, roughly. So if we work on that kind of basis, because when we're looking to sell, say it will probably be around the end of 2025, around the cycle top. Now, obviously that's not set in stone. You know, the cycle could top earlier, it could top later, but for rough calculations, for the purpose of this video, for us to make an educated guess, 
let's say that 50% of the tokens are circulating because that is when we are likely to see the cycle top. So let's just say that the current market cap is 4.6 billion, again, based on the timeline that we are kind of looking at. Now, I first mentioned Say, and I first started talking about Say in my free Telegram group, which you guys can join in the description. I first mentioned it back in early to mid-December when the price was floating around kind of 26 to 22 cents, just around here. Then I mentioned it again in late December when I actually made this tweet. So again, go and follow my Twitter, link is in the description, GeoParis23. You can see I said, I think Say could go to five to eight dollars. I didn't realize that although the FDB is high, the tokens aren't being unlocked for ages. At the end of 2025, only around 50% of the total supply will be circulating. You can see this was on Christmas Eve. I had a brainwave <laughs> the night before Christmas and tweeted this. So again, go and follow my Twitter if you want up-to-date stuff. And then again, you can see the calculation that we're doing here. If we work on the basis that 50% are circulating, the market cap would be 1.7 billion. Obviously now it's 4.6 billion, but Solana hit a 80 billion market cap in November, 2022 with around 70% of the supply circulating. So if say was to hit a 80 billion market cap, at the end of 2025, when half of the tokens are circulating, the price of say would be $16.50, okay? Now to be conservative, let's say that it does half, the price would be $8, okay? So when I first started mentioning say here around the kind of 23 cent sort of mark, if say was to go to $8, that would be a pretty incredible trade. And I think say could go higher, you know, I do think it could reach the kind of $10 mark, maybe even higher, but my base case is somewhere between kind of eight to $10 by the end of 2025. And again, when I tweeted that on Christmas Eve, the price was around 37 cents. So again, you can get pretty good multiples, but even from where price is now, you know, it's pretty hard to stomach buying this thing because it is up so much from when I first started mentioning it. I still think it's a good trade. I still think there's a trade to be had. And I still think there's opportunity that if you're not currently in say that it's something still worth considering buying on pullbacks. Because like I say, if it can go to the market cap that Solana went to, which was around 80 billion at the top of the 2021 cycle, that would put say around $16.50 if it does it by the end of 2025. Cardano went to an even higher valuation. It went to nearly a hundred billion dollar market cap and they didn't even really have anything working. You know, there wasn't really any substance there. It was just kind of off of hyper narrative. So we don't need say to go to a hundred billion dollar market cap. That would put the price around $20 by the end of 2025. We don't need Need say to do that all we need it to do is half of what solana did 40 billion and it can go to that kind of eight dollar mark and then if it goes a little bit higher it can maybe stretch to ten dollars maybe even a little bit further now one thing that say doing pretty well is capturing the kind of nft narrative you can see a lot of collections are starting to launch on say some of them are doing pretty decent volume as well if you look at some of the kind of blue chips like seans for example this is something that in the crypto alpha room we've been buying a bunch of along with some other collections as well. So if you guys are interested in getting access to the Crypto Alpha room to know all of the coins that I'm holding, when I'm buying, when I'm selling, not just me, the other analysts in the Crypto Alpha room as well, then click the link in the description and you can join the Crypto Alpha room. This is something that excites me about Say and reminds me of Solana. Any of you guys that were around in 2021 will remember that Solana had a pretty decent volume from NFTs. You know, there were certain collections that were doing pretty well on Solana. And I think Say can kind of come and fill that gap as the kind of new L1 that has the vibrant NFT ecosystem. And like I say, you can see a lot of collections launching the NFT volume on Say. It's it's pretty good compared to other chains, even established L1s like AVAX, for example, Say is doing more NFT volume than some of them. So pretty good to see, pretty encouraging. Now, if we look at the TVL of Say, you can see it's pretty low, only 21 million, but it is rising pretty steadily. And particularly in February, we've gone from 11 million to 21 million. So pretty much doubled. And today is the 20th of February. And the TVL has pretty much doubled now. It doesn't really mean much because the TVL is so small, but TVL is not really a massive metric that I look at. You, know, you look at something like Cardano that went to hundred billion dollar valuation. And if you look at the TVL that Cardano had around that time, it was nothing to write home about, right? I mean, it doesn't even show on the chart, but you can see the TVL only hit 82 million in 2022. And the market cap of Cardano by that point was still about 50 billion and they only had an 80 million dollar TVL. So TVL, I don't want to say it's a bit of a meme, but it is a bit of a meme. It doesn't really mean too much 
when looking at these chains and when looking at where they can go. It's more about the narrative behind it and it's less about is this thing actually going to change the world? And it's more about do enough people believe that it can change the world? And as long as you have that narrative, as long as you have that leader behind it and you have those backers, and like I say, it meets that narrative, then, you know, any coin in crypto can go to insane valuations. You know, you look at something like Dogecoin, for example, no real utility, but it went to an absolutely insane valuation in 2021. Now, looking at the price chart for say, like I said, when I first started talking about say in my free telegram, which you guys can join in the description, it was around here. It was around the kind of 22 to 25 cent kind of region. Then when I made that tweet on Christmas Eve, it was around the kind of mid 30 cent region. So we have had a big pump, you know, we hit just over $1 a couple of days ago, but I still think that say has much, much higher to go. Like I say, I can easily see say going to the kind of eight to 10, maybe even slightly higher kind of region. And again, all of this price action will start to look insignificant as we start to hit those valuations. So levels I'd be watching on, say, are definitely this kind of 75 cent region to come and retest this previous high. Also, if we hold this level, this could be a nice region to accumulate some, say, in the kind of late 80 region. And then if we are blessed with this pullback to retest this high in this ATL on this daily 50 EMA around the kind of 75 to 70 cent region, this is definitely an area where I would look to accumulate a bunch of, say, for that next leg higher. Like I say, I think that this is going to be one of the layer one that really kind of leads the charge. And like I said, it reminds me of Solana. And if you look at the market cap around late March, Solana was around the kind of $4.6 billion valuation. If you look at the price of Solana around then, it was around the kind of $15 region. So I do think that buying Say is similar to buying Solana around $15. I'm not saying that Say is going to go to $80 billion fully diluted valuation, but I do think there are similarities in the trade between, you know, buying Say now and buying Solana back in March, 2021, when it was around the $15 region. So I'm very bullish on say, like I say, I think it is going to be one of the layer ones that leads the charge this cycle, similar to AVAX, Solana, Phantom, Luna last cycle. And as long as they don't do anything silly like Luna did, hopefully it won't go to zero like Luna did. I do think there's a lot of upside to be had. It is one of my core holds for this cycle that I'm rotating a lot of a risky profit that I make back into something a bit more stable. Say is one of those ones that I'm looking at. And I think at least until Monad launches, that say will capture a lot of that kind of parallel EVM narrative and a lot of liquidity will flow to say based on that kind of parallel EVM narrative. So that's it for this video. We do like say, like I say, I think it can go to kind of eight to $10, maybe even slightly higher at the peak of the run. So definitely the pullbacks on say are for buying. But like I say, that's it for this video. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Also join the free telegram in the bio. And if you guys want access to the Crypto Alpha Room, if you want to know all of the coins that are in my portfolio, when I'm buying, when I'm selling, not just me, also the other analysts, Dan and Murphy as well, what NFTs we're buying, literally everything we're doing, all of the trades we're taking, then click the link in the description and you can join the Crypto Alpha Room. That's it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care.